Well, tonight we have dry conditions on action radar, and that's going to be the case for tomorrow as well. So we are going to be dealing with some pretty nice conditions for Friday night football and pretty decent conditions leading up to that in the afternoon hours. Not much cloud cover across the southeast for us this evening, and right now those temperatures are cooling off into the 60s. Not too bad. We'll be in the lower 60s, maybe upper 50s for a few spots by tomorrow morning. All across the southeast, we're cooling off a bit. Warmer down in the Florida Peninsula, but some pretty cool air is to the north of us in the Ohio Valley into New England, but the air mass that is going to be coming in this weekend is actually in the Pacific Northwest, and that front's going to be moving in pretty quickly, and that will give us some majorly cooler temperatures for a Sunday morning and into Monday morning, where we will be in the 40s, and there's that air coming in late Sunday. The blue colors indicate the colder air. Now off to the west, it will be warming up with a southerly flow off the Gulf of Mexico, so we'll warm up again next week as uh, the next system will be approaching us from the west for tomorrow morning and Saturday morning will be in the 60s and there's that cooler air coming in for Sunday and Monday and then that warming trend will be back in play by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and along with that some rain chances will be returning to the forecast. Saturday will feature a few showers, maybe a few thunderstorms as well, but in the short term high pressure is going to be remaining in control of our forecast and there's that warmer air, the moisture coming in ahead of this next front that's right now in the upper uh, Rocky Mountain states, making its way into the Plain states, and that's going to move pretty quickly, picking up some of that moisture that's in the midsection of the country from the Gulf, and that'll help concentrate it over us a little bit as we do head into uh, Saturday. But for Friday, just some cloud cover Friday in the evening. The rain will be in the lower Mississippi River Valley and then approaching us as we do head into early Saturday morning. But a lot of that moisture will be dying off as it moves to the south of us with that cold front. But behind that front, the colder air will be funneling in, especially for a, a Sunday and Monday mornings. That will be the coolest air mass that we've seen since last April. So certainly some signs of fall in the forecast for tonight. We'll be cooling up in the 60s of a northeasterly breeze that's going to stay pretty persistent. We could have a few clouds across the area, so filtered sunshine to start things off tomorrow morning. Temperatures in the lower to middle 60s for a lot of us. And then in the afternoon, there's a chance that the counties to our south and the panhandle could see a few showers developing, but for the most part, conditions will be staying dry for us with those temperatures in the upper 70s. I think this particular model is getting a little bit too warm for most of us, but either way, it's going to be a warm day, a seasonal day across the southeast, and then as we head into the overnight early morning hours of Saturday, looking pretty good. Cloud cover will increase as that front gets a little bit closer to us. For tonight, 63 degrees for the low temperature, a mostly clear night, pretty mild out there. Some spots will be a little bit cooler, and then for tomorrow, some of us will make it into the 80s. I think for the most part, some of us will stay a little bit cooler than that, but lower 80s not out of the question a little bit further to the south. We'll be looking at those temperatures warming up a little bit more, but for us here in Dothan, I think overall right around 79 degrees with the warmth of, from the sun, certainly feeling like the 80s out there either way, but not too bad, not too bad compared to where we were earlier in the weekend mm -hmm. uh, before the hurricane moved through where we were dealing with some extremely warm temperatures. On Saturday, that's going to be the day of transition, 82 degrees for the high temperature, and then as we head into the afternoon, that's when the temperature will start to drop off after any of those rain showers that do develop clear out rather breezy with that same thing for Sunday starting out at 54 72 degrees in the afternoon and then Monday that's the cool day and then the rain returns for us Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday of next week and we are getting to that time of the year Mike where we're up and then we're down